Welcome to the Crystal 2.0 training video. You are currently in the Camera and Video Device Settings Demonstration section. Now we will introduce how to set up video devices and cameras. Let's begin by reviewing the system. Under Recording Server, there is a video device, and underneath it, each camera represents one sensor or one lens. There are three types of video devices. First, there is a standard camera, which is connected to the cameras and to the camera DI and DO. Second, there is the multi-lens camera, in which every lens in the system serves as a camera. And third, there is the video server, which connects to the analog cameras. Next, we will add video devices to the system rather than cameras. To complete the setup process, we need to add video devices, set up camera parameters, set up a recording schedule, and set up the events and actions. Now, back to New Client for a detailed demonstration. To add a video device, there are two options. First, manually add a video device to the tree list, or if the camera supports UPnP search, add the camera by carrying out a UPnP search on the device overview page. To manually add video devices, go to the tree list. Click on the recording server to which you want to add each video device, then click Add to add your video devices. Here we are directed to the video device edit page where we can edit the device information such as the device name, IP address, port, username, and password. Pressing the auto detection button will result in the system automatically detecting the camera brand and model number. For cameras recognized by UPnP Search, Crystal 2.0 supports using UPnP Search to add such video devices in just seconds. In Recording Server, on the Device Overview page, you can search for video devices in the LAN environment by clicking on Search Video Devices and have all your devices at once in the same LAN environment. The video devices that have been added to this recording server will show up in gray. Please choose the devices you want to add. Then click Next. Now type in the username and password for each camera. Crystal 2.0 supports quick setup for filling in usernames and passwords. To fill in the other three columns, Simultaneously, press Ctrl or Shift on your keyboard, thus enabling you to select all your cameras at the same time. Next, click on any one column and you can type in the username and password for them all at the same time as well. Now you can overview all devices belonging to the recording server. You can also disable any device you don't want. If a device is disabled, it won't count towards the license quota. Now, let's see how to set up camera parameters. Next, go to Camera, then Stream Settings. You can enable or disable multi-stream, assign video formats, frame rates, camera resolution, quality, and audio. If the camera is a fisheye camera or hosts an ImmerVision lens, we also need to assign it a camera location and the video will then adjust to the corresponding display mode. Next, we need to set up a recording schedule for each camera. Now, let's go to Cameras, then to Recording Schedule, and you will see the schedule overview for each camera in the daily or weekly mode with the detailed schedule listed below. To add a new schedule or edit an existing schedule, click Add or find the existing schedule and click Configure on the toolbar. On the Schedule Edit page you can select an existing schedule profile or add a new schedule. To learn more about adding a new schedule profile, please refer to the Nuo Crystal 2.0 video library for the schedule profile introduction. Here there are three modes of recording. Always record for an assigned time, record on event, and boosting record. This last mode records lower frame rates than normal and boosts the frame rate back to the original frame rate when an event happens. 
Crystal 2.0 provides further support for any scheduled boosting record, enabling users to record different frame rates at different times without the need to set up any event. To boost the recording settings, you can specify the video frame rate for normal mode by assigning the frame rate here as well as in the event mode settings, where you can boost the frame rate to the camera's original frame rate. Next, assign the event types. Now, let's go back to the schedule overview and you can see the schedule we just added. You can modify the application priority to meet system needs. Now, the camera will boost the recording speed during office hours while continuing to record at other times as well. To learn more about schedule profile priority settings, please refer to the Nuo Crystal 2.0 video library for the schedule profile introduction. Crystal 2.0 also supports individual retention conditions for each camera. You can assign different retention days to every camera. When you disable a camera, the system will automatically recycle the video when the volume is full. Here you can choose to record camera audio by enabling it. With all the settings in place, you can copy this recording setting to any camera in the system, including cameras operating under different recording servers. This can save a huge amount of time during the setup process. The last step for the camera and video settings is to set up an event and action. You can set up a camera event with this tab. For more event and action settings, please refer to the Nuo Crystal 2.0 video library for additional information. For further information concerning Nuo Crystal 2.0, please visit the Nuo website at www.nuo.com.